What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome to Resident Evil 4. Now, don't ask me why there's no music. I don't know why there's no music. I don't remember if that's how the game used to be. I just don't know. But like I said, we're going to go on a little Resident Evil binge. And just like with the Resident Evil 2 remake, once again, we're going to be playing as Leon Kennedy. But for those of you who have seen this game, I ask that you enjoy the ride. For those of you who have yet to see this game, I'm not going to spoil anything. Because there are some people out there who might not have. So without further ado, let's get right on into this. Resident Evil 4. Yes. <laughs> 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. And we just saw this. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Yup. Yes, indeed. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cool. Yep. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo. Leon done went up in the world. Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Yeah, as you can see, the graphics are not the same, like I stated, you know, in the last Resident Evil 3 video. But, hey, it's okay. I'm a 90s kid. I come from the 8-bit era. You appreciate the right game for its timeline. My duties of protecting the president's daughter when she Not its dead. graphics at this point. Not for That's this game. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl nope. that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue? Alicia. Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. It just always gets you wondering how somebody could stalk you like that and you not see something. Like, there is no cover up there. The little things that I would not have noticed when I first played this game. There was no cover up there, and yet that man didn't see Jack.
Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't hey. want to get any parking tickets. Ah. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez, who are these guys? Did you say something? Nah. Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Sup? Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some yeah, more information did. on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. I should check out that file. Now, on first glance, you'll notice something. The controls are hella different. And this is going to end up taking some getting used to. Because there is no solid camera rotation. I'm just flicking the control stick. This is me holding it. So when you aim... Oh, you don't aim with that button anymore. I forgot how you aim. <laughs> okay, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I want to exit. Okay, let's go over to files. Info on Ashley. Ashley Graham, age 20, daughter of the United States president. She was kidnapped by an unidentified group while on her way home from her university. The kidnappers' motives are still unknown, although there's reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider. Only a handful of people know about this kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps mostly due to the fact that we can't determine who the traitor is. The guys in intelligence say that they have reliable information that Ashley's been sighted somewhere in Europe. But until we find out who the insider is, I don't know what to believe. It could be a ploy. We have very few leads as to the whereabouts of Ashley, but members of the Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by an investigative team. Even active agents are being investigated for any information. It's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. Let me look at this plan manual real quick. Oh... Okay. So I have to ready the weapon that way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is what it looks like. And if I remember right, uh, let's see here. How do I... There we go. So you have to aim with the trigger you would normally shoot with and then shoot with X. But I bet you're wondering, why did you shoot the poor crow? Well, because these little bastards drop shit. And man, I do not I do not miss these controls. I don't. Take that. He was packing some money. And I got the spinal. I think that's something you can sell. Did I just see something shimmer over here? Check. The guidepost reads Pueblo. I'm probably going to end up botching a lot of these words too. Because I don't remember where exactly we are. So if I botch any of these words, I apologize in advance for anybody who happens to watch this video that speaks this native language. Oh yeah, wasn't like... Uh, yeah, look me. at how nasty Sir? this stuff is. Be quiet, phone. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. 
This is why you always keep your head on a swivel. Freeze. Because there's somebody always trying to take it off your face. Back up. Now, notice that it took three shots to kill this man. How many shots did it take for us to kill the standard zombie in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 Remake? Like eight? Shit. Yeah, all hell's broken loose at this point. Is everything okay? No. There's a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Over and out. He's not a zombie. Now take that into consideration. He's not a zombie. I forgot how you run. I know that there's a run mechanic, I think. I just don't remember what it is. Take the handgun ammo, yes. All right, let's get out of this freaking window. Hoo-ah! Because we're a badass like that. Oh, shit. I almost forgot my buttons. Back up. Back up. Oh, A is to run. I need to... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to ignore these guys. I think I'm headed in the right direction. Well, there's the bridge, so I am actually not headed in the right direction. Oh yeah, there's the map. Forgot about that. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> yeah, these dudes just flop backwards like that. Reload. Death by booty cheeks. Give me that handgun ammo. So yeah, that was the first little taste. Oh yeah, I forgot about the little dog. Sli oh no, get closer. Nice. Gonna aim up a bit. God, Leon, there you go. <laughs> got a thousand monies that time. Got my herb. Got some more handgun ammo. And first save file. But I mean, just listen to this song. I don't know what it is about this song, but I always liked this song. I always liked it. It was one of the best songs in the whole dadgum game. Now, let's hit the bird. Boop. And boop. Got him. Let's pick that up. And then, let's pick up a hand grenade. Because a crow obviously has needs for one. Oh, hey, buddy. Of course I'm going to help you. There you go, buddy. Enjoy your freedom. Good deed for the day. Always help the animals. But always be careful. Because some of them might turn on you. True story. The guidepost reads that. <laughs> I wasn't going to try to read it again. Yeah, look at this crap. Look at this crap. Out in the middle of the freaking woods. Out in the middle of the daggum woods, they have a tripwire that literally leads to nothing. Well, actually, no, it leads down the path I need to go. Ooh, get back. I forgot that's something you can do in this game. <laughs> I 
I completely forgot. Like, when they're stunned from getting shot, you can literally just, uh, kick them away from you. Was there an actual reload button? I do not remember if there was an actual reload button. I should have read more of this. To swing the weapon. Action button. Camera. That's literally all the controls of the game. That's literally it. The right bumper doesn't do anything. The left bumper doesn't do anything. That is literally it. Now, let's this. Take. It's a wooden box. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't remember if he actually can break the box by checking it or what. So I have two green herbs at this point. And that person has seen better days. That person has seen, has seen many better days. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, buddy. God, I shot you in the neck. Right in your neck, me. And that dude on the ground is like, wait, we getting that dude? Okay. <laughs> Let's go then. But you know, this is good for me. Y'all can just funnel up this bridge. Or y'all weren't coming this way. And y'all were just going to the village to warn everybody, hey... There is some random dude that's about to... Yeah, that's what it was. I see you. I see you in there. Oh, God. Got him. He's not dead. But I got him. Ooh, got him that time. <laughs> Little CQC never hurted nobody. Alrighty, let's go in here now. <clears throat> now, stuff's about to get a little Leon, real. How you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry yes. to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Oh, play manual two. Control configuration changes are not reflected here. Please pay careful attention to button functions. <clears throat> ah, so A is how you reload while holding it down. Kicks, yep. Changing inventory screens, yep. That's what those buttons are used for. So I just wasn't ready. I just, my, my playing atmosphere was not ready for that sort of advancement yet. I wasn't smart enough to be taught how to reload yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, hold in. Yeah. Yep. They done strung my boy up. Yeah. You. You tipped him off, didn't you, you fucking chicken? Hey, so, not. notice how there are so many of these people I'm going to give you a little hint. Every single one of them is a hostile. <laughs> and that is not all of them either. That is not all of them either. As soon as I start shooting, all hell's going to break loose. But there is a surprise in this village. <clears throat> There is a surprise, and I want to find it. Combine with that green. Yeah, it literally looks like a pill, but it's supposed to be spray. <laughs> now, this hand grenade is going to come in handy, though. I'm just trying to be a little stealthy. A bit stealthy. There's an unpleasant odor coming from the kettle. It sure doesn't smell like a refreshing drink to me. 
and slice. Take that incendiary grenade, and I will take that moolah. There's a barrel here. Looks like it can be broken. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The barrels can be broken, too. <clears throat> I'm getting lots of monies. All right. I'm going to have to end up kicking the party off now. Yep, they saw me. Which way do I want to go, though? I'm going to go this way. Excuse me. Because I am needing to go to a specific building. I just don't remember which building it is. Not that one. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get off me. I was thinking he was stunned. I was going to run up and kick him. Yes. They will throw. Whoa. Ow. Reload. God dang it. I backed myself into a corner. Yes. I just kicked his head off. Would you stop fiending that I can kick you and just let me kick you? I don't remember my buttons. Jesus. Take the herb. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, come on now, Leon. Yellow herb. Yes, there is a yellow herb. And I, for the life of me, do not remember what it does. Oh, I think I have to go in here. Nope. Yeah. I am for the trust. Why are these people? Yeah. Chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> As if to make matters worse. Son of a... Now, the first time I played this game, I did not go in here this early. I did not mean to jump out of that. I really didn't mean to. There we go. Jump in. I know. I jumped right into the middle of these guys. But it's okay though. Because I now have this. I need the right buttons. Thank you. Alright. Everybody finna get blown away. Because I have... A hand grenade! <laughs> and then there are more of them. And now to wait for them to flock to me. Yeah, the, the chainsaw dude is still not dead. Ow. Oh. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. Come on with it. Flock to me. I got some gold bars. And I'm just picking up ammo on the way. There we go, baby. <laughs> Yep, I remember. That's about the extent that I remember. I remember a few things from this game. I remember owning this on the GameCube. Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> yep. And that was just the the little 
prologue, introduction into the game. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Whew. <clears throat> so that was crazy. It was all your fault. You freaking... Yeah, it was all your fault, wasn't it? You're the one that tipped him off. Ah, chicken. Well, guess what? There's a fire right there. And I'm just southern enough to cook you in it. And I'm gonna take your egg. <laughs> what in God's name? If only he'd come with me. <clears throat> yeah. If he'd have only come with him, he'd have still been alive. The water is awfully dirty. No way I'm drinking this. Now, to do a little bit of exploring to make sure that I get everything there is to get here. You know, herbs, any explosives, you know, item pickup stuff. Alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Vitores Mendez. Yeah. <clears throat> so now, you know, we have the village itself. We have the United States government. And we have a third party that has yet to be talked about. <clears throat> Let's reload this real quick. Because we have more company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember... I remember those. Yeah, get out of here, you freaking chickens. About the blue medallions. Fifteen blue medallions. Seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy ten or more will be rewarded. The rest is illegible. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save it. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this first episode here. The controls are going to be a little interesting to get back into. I have button fumbled already. <laughs> I've button fumbled already and I know I'm going to continue to button fumble. But man, I completely forgot just how strong those chain suit dudes were, man. I cannot believe how strong those guys are. But here's to hoping we don't have to run into too many more of them. I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode. If you did, why not drop it a like? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing for more of this mayhem? Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for Mini Moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.